It is very important from day one to send a signal both uh, to the Greek people but also to the international capital markets, to Brussels, that we're serious, that we mean business. We're going to be putting in place a competent government. Uh, I don't intend to engage in any sort of you know, traditional horse trading uh, if I get the strong mandate that I'm asking for. So the stronger the mandate, the easier it will be for me uh, to, to pick you know, all the, you know, the right people for, um, uh, for the jobs that they have to do. So it's going to be it's going to be a full summer for us no holidays. Greece has delivered excess surpluses over the past years for the simple reason that Mr. Tsipras decided to overtax the middle class. So there is there's clear room um, uh, to scale back from this uh, excessive taxation. Uh, everyone seems to uh, agree that uh, we have to lower taxation, uh, including our creditors. So I don't think I would have a real difficulty in, in convincing them that this needs to happen. <laughs> I will be having an honest discussion uh, with, uh, um, uh, with our partners about uh, reducing uh, primary surplus targets. They are too excessive. The reason why they were put in place had to do with the fact that there was zero confidence uh, in Mr. Tsipras and unfortunately in, in Greece to deliver reforms. A committed reform-oriented uh, uh, government should have more leeway uh, in negotiating a slight reduction in primary surpluses, which is very important to us because it will allow us to further cut taxes. And at the end of the day, it could be a win-win scenario because it will help growth. Uh, Mitsotakis comes from the centrist, liberal and, and pro-reform part of his party. Um, he has a track record as a reformer himself. He has uh, invested in building a reputation as a reformer and he has never um, uh, concealed the fact that he supports that the economy needs reforms. And this differentiates him from many politicians in his party who are more populist and more conservative and more sort of typical right-wing politicians. I think it is fortunate for Mitsotakis that he comes after Tsipras, who came to power um, riding on his charisma and riding on over-promising things that were not achievable. Uh, what Mitsotakis brings is different, or even the opposite of that. Um, he has a pragmatic agenda. Uh, he does not overpromise. 